<laughs> look, look at look at Kyoko mouth and face though. She like that wet cat. She like that wet cat. She don't throw it back. She lickety lick that cat. Look at how ashy my elbows are today. When was y'all gonna tell me? My shit look like... Why, el why do elbow look like kneecap? I never noticed that before. Danganronpa. Danganronpa. What? Good job, welcome back. Hey, I tried to get to the main, I tried to get to uh, the gameplay. Ain't that funny? Look who, look who, look who's on the title screen! Welcome back to another installment of that Danganronpa lifestyle. I want to chill with Kuya, because he never wants to chill with me. What do you want? <gasps> Literally. Um, well, the breakfast meeting- That's enough. <clears throat> you honestly expect me to go? Right. Well, as long as I'm here, I should ask Kuya what, what he made of the stuff Alter Ego told us. Actually, no, I'd better not. The surveillance camera will catch us, for sure. What? So... Oh, I'm well. Goodbye. Where are you going? You're walking into a wall. You Harry Potter? Everybody who walked through walls is Harry Potter. Good morning, Hina. Hey, Makoto. Morning. <laughs> hey, so yesterday, you, you were kind of cool. Huh? What do you mean? Yeah. You know, when you said Alter Ego was your friend. So, um... I, I was thinking the same thing. But when stuff like that happens, I never know how to say what I'm thinking. You got it. So I'm really glad you said it for me. All right, let me chill. So thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. You're usually like totally normal, but when the time comes, bam, you bust out your special power. Cause I mean, I mean, even before yesterday, when stuff comes up, it's like you always do something about it. Even before yesterday, are you talking about like the class trials and stuff? I mean, that stuff is just it just kind of took care of itself, you know. Hmm. It totally didn't. Um. With your power and Sakura's and everyone else, I'm sure we'll get out of here. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. I am right, all right? Now that we've got the fighting spirit, let's go get some grub. She's right, even if the road is long. If we don't keep on moving forward, we'll never reach our goal. Then let's get to it then. Breakfast morning time. I hate how free time you gotta do it, but like, you gotta do it. It's not free time yet, but after this, I'm already knowing. All right, everyone. As I entered the dining hall, the first thing I saw was her. <laughs> what are you staring at? Oh, Togo? What's your problem? What? You think your, your eyes would rot just by looking at me? <gasps> Fine! The heck? Then don't look at me! <sighs> I think he's just surprised to see you at the breakfast meeting, is all. Mm. Indeed. It's been quite a while since you joined us. Um... Yeah, what made you change your mind? <laughs> <laughs> Kuya said he likes a girl to have some meat on her bones, so I'm g gonna start eating. I'm gonna force it down into my stomach. I'm gonna eat till I ch chop. Okay. I refuse to lose. Hina. D did she just roast a little bit? Hina, I see you. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Kyoko isn't here. You know? Oh, she said she'd come by later. Later, you know, yeah, after you leave, here she go. She's not even trying to hide it anymore. Hmm. I know she said she wanted to just, <clears throat> I know she, I know I said she wanted you to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show her that much. Just a second, you're dirty, Makoto. Dirty, President Dirty. Uh, <laughs> Otto, wasn't you just fake ass? You're dirty, Makoto. Dirty. President Dirty of Dirty Landia. You don't understand. Just the worst. You're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? What are you talking about? I'm telling you, it's not like that. <laughs> what the heck? J just shut up already, Hina. You've been running your filthy mouth like that all morning. Huh? Filthy? Me? <laughs> Don't make me repeat myself. Huh? I'm not filthy. <laughs> it's no use denying it. We can also see how disgusting you are. Huh? Sh shut up! <gasps> you and that. <sighs> 
You and that lusty body of yours. Night after night, you go out for your illicit c- club meetings. Ooh. Hey, knock it off. I can't deal with dirty stuff like that. <laughs> look, look, at, look at Kyoko mouth and face, though. She like that wet cat. She like that wet cat. She don't throw it back. She lickety lick that cat. <laughs> okay. Your midnight sexual curricular activities only put us even more in danger. Please. S- stop it. <gasps> you, you'd like me to stop, wouldn't you? Your sweaty hands gripping at her big fat chalk tight. <sighs> yo, yo, yo. Going for all that a- a- extra credit. Your screams are like the s- screech of a violated blackboard. And, 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 and it's amazing and decent ideas are c- coming to me after one after another. Bastard! So, would you rather have your black eye on the left or the right? Huh? Hey! S- sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, come on. Let's leave Toko alone. She's gone a little funny from all her pent up frustration. You know? Anyway, you and Kyoko need to make up already, you know? Y- yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, of course I want things to get better as soon as possible. But with everything that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to talk to her about what I saw. Before anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. Sakura about it. How do you, however you say her name about it? Sakura, you good? Um, Sakura. Mm-hmm. Sakura, what is it? Uh, what is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Ah! Ah! Now that Kyoko's dumped him, Makado's trying to get... Makado's trying to win S- Sakura's heart! <laughs> are you in heat, Makado? Don't care who they are, as long as they've got c- the right equipment. Just the worst. Watch out, Sakura. Makado's transformed into a wild beast. Prime Minister Wild Beast of Beastopia. Why is this happening to me? Well, can our talk wait till tomorrow? I'd like to get some rest today. Ugh. For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Huh? Huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? Mm. N- no, nothing serious. I've just had some minor aches and pains. Huh? Is that... It must be because of that battle. Yeah, we remember. Look at Sakura face and eyeball. Look at her arms. Look at her titties. Um. But it must be pretty bad if you have to go rest. Are you sure you're okay? Mm. I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. You got it. That's true. Protein is good for all kinds of stuff. <laughs> hey. You guys like worship protein. It's like your god or something. Thank God for Kush! Okay. <laughs> Mikado! I don't know what it is you want to talk to Sakura about, but save it till tomorrow. She's in pain. Y- yeah, I got it. I'm sorry. You know? Well, for now, let's eat. <sighs> eat? I'm kind of n- nervous. Huh? Huh? How come? What's your problem? Because I don't usually eat in front of other p- p- people. Ever since I was a kid, I eat b- b- by myself. What the heck? What about your family? Mm-hmm. Oh well, y- yeah. I I used to live with my d- dad, my mom, and my my mom. Huh? You had two moms? <laughs> what? That's just how the things were. Yeah! That's like a serious issue. Now y'all be getting on my head talking about I'm problematic. Release he is so problematic. He's all problematic. He's a- like damn, but then when he say he say this, I have a problem with that. So you know, there's levels to everything. Not everybody is perfect. Just let it go. You're asking for trouble getting involved with her more than you have to. How <laughs> dare you speak to me with that d- disgusting mouth of yours? Oh. Stop saying stuff like that. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. 
If I don't, Kyoko will never show up. <sighs> Pretty miserable situation, man. <laughs> yeah. I scarfed down breakfast as fast as I could and immediately headed back to my room. Free time. <sighs> I love the free time song. Ling, 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 ling. I'll have to wait till tomorrow to confront Sakura about what I saw. But in a way, I'm kind of relieved. It takes a lot of courage to stand face to face with Sakura and accuse her of something. Hey! Hey! Let's go outside! Hey! Hey! This this be cranked though. I'm like, ugh. But there she go. Kyoko, what's up with you? Anyway. I'm busy. I don't have time to waste. What are you busy doing? Painting the wall red? With your yep. blood? Fucking weirdo. Did you need something, Makoto? <laughs> it better not be my life. Don't kill me. Help me. Afterlife, protect me. Makoto, kill someone if you must, but don't kill me. Hmm. Should I spend some time with Hero while he's acting like this? Yeah, why not? He's, he's, he's well? just... He just lit off that kush, that blueberry, that granddaddy, that OG. Well then, why don't we have a heated discussion about cos cosmogony? What? I learned all about Hero's theories on the origin of the universe. Close your shit. Hero and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hero a present? Um, not really. Could it be... Hey, Mikado, you know what I think? You and me meeting like this wasn't a coincidence. Hmm. So I've got some good news for you. I'm gonna give you a psychic reading at a huge discount. Spit on my hand. A, dis a discount? How about that? Normally it's a thousand bucks for two hours. But for you, let's call it 900. That's only a hundred dollar discount, you dumbass, and even then it's way too expensive. Don't be mean! Hey, come on! You should count- you <clears throat> What? You should count yourself lucky that the ultimate clairvoyant is willing to tell you your future. So, are you right pretty often? Well? I sure am. At the bare minimum, I've got a 20% chance of accuracy. 20%? That sounds pretty sketchy. What the heck? For real? Don't make that face. Didn't you hear what I said? 20% of the time, I'm right every time. That includes natural disasters, election results, you name it. Don't you realize how amazing that is? Um, how about that? Okay, fine. I'll give you a special trial run. After all, I've already seen what the future has in store for you. What? When did you see it? Why did you... Okay. Well? <laughs> you won't believe what I saw. It would appear that the mother of your children and the mother of my children are the same woman. We both piped her and got her pregnant. I refuse. Deny. Don't like that. I'm right, right? Doesn't matter if you don't like it. That's just the way it is. 20% accuracy, you said? You know? At least. I, I pray to everything holy that you're wrong. Please be wrong. <laughs> now then, since that was a special trial run, I'm afraid I can't apply the discount. That'll be $1,000, please. Don't worry. You can pay me after we get out of here. But wait, hold on. But there's no way you're going to be right, right? Hmm. If you'd like, I can do a reading right now to see whether my reading was right or not. Naturally, additional fleas will apply. <laughs> Think about it, okay? Let me know as soon as you're ready for my services. Ha 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 ha! Oh, he's gone. Do I have enough in my bank account to take another crack at it? No, I can't bring myself to pay for something like that. I can see how people can fall into that kind of cycle, though. That was close. Please, whoever's listening, I'm begging you. Whatever else happens, don't let him be right. Alright, that was a big waste of my time. You unlocked the skill Lost in Thought. Give yourself a pet on the back, you've earned it. I don't understand what these skills mean, though. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a while. You know who else I want to talk to right now? 
Toko crazy ass. Let me see if I can find her. I have plenty of time. I don't feel like just sitting here, and I already knew you were going to say that, so I'm one step ahead of you. Kyoko, stop tripping. Talk to me. Stop. I just tried you. I'm trying you again. What's up? What are you doing? What are you doing in here? Go away. She won't even look at me. I guess she doesn't even want to see my face. All because I won't tell you about. Okay, my, my little my little two cent secret. Make up a secret. It's got to be kind of compelling though. That's the best way that you can get out of that whole secret secret nonsense. If you have a secret, but you don't want to tell somebody that you promise you tell them, just tell them a different secret. Not a, not as not as incriminating though, you know. Okay, relax. Huh? What's up? You want to go on a murder spree with me? Hmm, is it really a good idea to hang out with Genocide Jack? Yeah, absolutely. What? 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 You want me to kill you or something? Mm, totally not adorable. You're not even close to getting me heated up. All right, relax. The time I spent with the murderous fiend was almost valuable. Did I just get a little closer to Genocide Jack? Would you like to give Genocide Jack a present? Not really, no. I'm surprised her character has stayed here this long, to be honest. That's it? We didn't even talk. Bro. Whatever. We already know. We already know. We already know. Quiet. Be quiet. Attention. Be quiet. Please, please. It said meet him at the gym. Whoa. I thought it was a nighttime announcement. He said he made a special announcement to ask us to come to the gym. And he sounded pretty serious about it, too. I gotta stop skipping those. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. To the gym we go, then. To the gym we go. Um. That's to the... I think it's right here, right? To the gym, yep. Okay. Who's all in here? Hello? Sakura, huh. you're the last one. <clears throat> Sorry, you're the last one. Everyone else is already inside. Aren't you gonna go in? Ooh. However, I have a bad feeling about this. More than just a feeling, probably. Monokuma did call us all together, after all. Sakura. Well then. Makado, if something happens to me, Hina. Huh? I'm sorry. No, never mind. So then... I, I... I'm... Who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Um... Sakura? Okay, Sakura finna clap Hina shit tonight. And I'm not talking sexually, I wish I was. Everyone must have heard the announcement, and once we all gathered at the gym, it began. Look at how high that- okay. I mean, it's just- it's just- okay. Okay, what's going on here? Okay? Well? Okay, let's get the show on the road! Hmm. You're about to give us your next motive presentation, aren't you? Hmm? Hmm? That's right. You got us all together to present another motive, right? <laughs> Is he right? Huh? We have to go do this again? <laughs> oh no, not again. I can't take it anymore. I see. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally see just how low on the totem pole of life you really are. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not it at all. We're not here to talk about motive. Today, I'm feeling black. Today, I'm feeling black too. The reason I gathered you all here is that I could get rid of all my, what? The reason I gathered you all here is so that I could get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? Why? We have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. Hmm. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. <laughs> Stop beating around the bush. Just tell us what you're talking about. 
Excuse me. <laughs> well, Kalia, you've already told everyone how one of you might be working as a spy for me, right? Come on. Yeah, so what about it? Sekar is a spy. Wow. In other words... Well, today I'd like to tell you about that spy. What? Hey, so, um... So guess what? <laughs> wow. The spy is actually Sakura Ogami! Say it ain't so. He said it so openly, it made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. What? What? What, what did you just say? <laughs> he said the spy is Sakura. What is this? Well, what are you talking about? You're a liar! There's, there's no way Sakura's a spy! Um... Right, Sakura? Damn. Huh? Sakura. <laughs> and I might just make Sakura fulfill the promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to that hostage of mine. What? Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with that information is up to you. Thrills, chills, kills! Roaster, boiler, killer, don't kill her, whatever. I can't wait, I can't wait! And just like that, he was gone. Finally, I understood what he had been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal. Huh? Um... What the heck? So, what does this mean? What? Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us for the mastermind? What are you saying? There's no way! <laughs> but that is what, what the stuffed animal said, right? Wrong! What? You're wrong! There's just no way! Hey. Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. Damn, that was, that was my leverage against Kyoko. Now Kyoko don't trust me at all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. Huh? What? Oh, that he was no! being... <laughs> Or has been working for the mastermind. I'm sorry. Damn. Yeah! So you've been lying to us this time? All this time? Huh? It's not true! Sakura was probably being controlled! There's gotta be some some reason! She didn't have a choice! She was just forced to do it! Yeah, I'm sure Hina's right. The mastermind probably threatened her somehow, and Sakura had no choice but to do what she was told. <laughs> what? You're talking like you, you know that for a fact! Because I do know it for a fact. Because I saw it. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting, and that's where I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight, I heard Sakura say she decided to fight against the mastermind. I see. You saw that. The mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made up your mind to betray the mastermind. What? Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who, who we can trust without question. Is that it? Hmm. Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? Not possible. She was the mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Impossible. <laughs> He's right. We can't just believe whatever she says now. Hmm. How can we even be sure she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff, and she's still doing exactly what the mastermind wants. What are you saying? Sakura would never do that! <laughs> okay then, Sakura. If you really have cut ties with the mastermind, tell us who they really are. <clears throat> well... I'm sorry. I can't. Even I don't know that. What? You don't know? That just makes you all the more suspicious. But please! She's telling the truth! You have to believe her! Don't make me repeat myself. Shut up! I'm not finished questioning her. Come on! Next question! What's this about a promise? What did the mastermind order you to do? Come on, Sakura. <sighs> I was told... <clears throat> to kill one of my friends. 
It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. The weight of those words. I see. So even now, you've taken aim on our lives. Wrong! You're wrong! You're wrong, I'm telling you! Sakura would never do that! What the you, heck? You don't have to yell. Oh, sorry. You don't have to yell. We can hear you just fine. Don't you have an inside voice? That's terrible! It's because you're not listening to me! Wait. Please, stop. You don't need to defend me anymore. Ugh. I have to take full responsibility for this. However... How do you intend to do that? <sighs> By destroying the mastermind. What? I... I'm going to challenge them. Even if it means we both go down, I will defeat them. I'm sorry. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Huh? Hold on! What do you mean? If you go... What? If you go both down... Hannah, get your mind out of last night when you invited Sakura to your little dorm room. I know how y'all get down. A little... A little... A little... Meow. Hina. Is that how y'all do it? Hina, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. Huh? What? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. Well... But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. But... Sakura! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym. And then... It's nighttime now, after all this? Hmm. <clears throat> this is soon the doors to the... Okay, we know, we know. <laughs> well, it's nighttime. We should all go to bed. No way! Hold on! This whole thing with Sakura's... Don't make me repeat myself. Over. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. That's terrible! No! Sakura's not our enemy! Why? Why? Why doesn't anyone understand her? What? What is it you think you understand? You didn't even know who she really was. What is this? Th that's... Calm down. Let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. Why? What? Anyway... Go to your room, cool down, and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. Oh, she's pissed. It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood. We were honestly glad the day was over. Oh, gosh. Sakura is the spy. She's a traitor. Kuya said Sakura is the enemy, but he's wrong. She's not my enemy. She's my friend, without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? Monokuma Theater. Oh, man. As long as you're human, there will always come a point where you wish you could do things differently. Even a baseball player in the major leagues, even a soccer player touring Europe, even a famous singer who started a career as a backup dancer on a sketch comedy show. You talking about J-Lo? Okay, they're doing their research. She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries some third-rate actor and retires. Every human has regrets, has things they like to go back and change. But I don't, because I'm a bear! What? Monokuma, what are you talking about? Alright, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's just good morning. I know. Good morning, every kid ready to greet. Beautiful day! I'm worried about Sakura. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. I'll, I'll, no, let me out. I'll have nothing stupid happen last night, man. I guess we're about to see right now. Kyoko, you really not trying to talk to me at all? Kyoko, good morning. Still ignoring me. Is she really that mad at me? But actually, it's not just Kyoko. Ever since Monokuma summoned us last night, the atmosphere around here has gotten really heavy. I can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. Well, if nothing else, I need to patch things up with Kyoko as soon as possible. Yeah, we gotta do that this episode for sure. Why was... Oh gosh, the music stopped. 
Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, um... M Mikado, are you okay? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> you were late, so we were worried ab about you. <laughs> what a dullard. Toko? Kuya? What are you doing here? What the heck? They're taking refuge here! Refuge? Such ignorance. Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. The Master... Are you talking about Sakura? Wow. That's when I finally noticed. The only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Huh? Where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is, if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against that threat. The threat? What is this? Why? Why do you hate her so much? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Unfair? Shh. The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. What the heck? That's a stupid reason! What? What did you say? Stupid? This is a life or death game, is it not? That's terrible! It is stupid! You're a stupid idiot! Hey. Before you get too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think things through. Why did the mastermind reveal that Sakura was a spy to us? What the heck? They were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye! However... That may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing the fact that revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the mastermind wanted to give us The chaos and confusion born from suspicion the hatred in other words This right here the fighting the bickering is the trap the mastermind laid for us Knowing that will you still stand there and argue like children? But That's not what I'm trying to do. It's just I mean How can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? <sighs> If she really can be the mastermind like she said, that'd go a long way in my mind. What are you saying? Idiot! You'd really ask her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? <laughs> Interesting. It, it wouldn't matter. Huh? What? <laughs> if Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. H hold on, Kuya, nigga. <laughs> In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would put the whole problem to rest. This nigga went, ha <laughs> ha, about her death. Damn, savage. Ooh, who did it? What the hell? You disgust me. You're, you're a monster. To say something like that, it should have been you. Look how they got Toko in the background, though. This is gonna be an interesting dynamic. You should have been the one to die! What? I should have died? <laughs> interesting. interesting. Then are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead, try it if you dare. That's how it works here, after all. What is this? You think I can't do it? H Hina, calm down! That's right. This is exactly what the Mastermind wants. And it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. It don't, they don't matter. It don't matter. They pissed. Hmm. What's wrong? Lost your nerve? Mm. I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. <laughs> that st stupid cow. How dare she? She should die a thousand deaths. No, a million. So she was just another hysterical little girl. Hardly worth my attention. Just a second. It's what other people call having feelings, Kuya. And all you can do is mock them for it? Hmm. What's wrong with that? Hey. A friendly word of warning. Someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you hard. I don't have time to play with you. And I, <laughs> and I will happily elude its attempts. <sighs> so, um, you know. Uh, um. How about we, uh, eat? Or maybe now's not a good time. You know? <laughs> Without a word, each, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms, one by one. Oh, gosh. Free time? Whew. So, what should I do today? This is Sakura's room. I don't have anything I need to talk to her about right now. You have everything you need to talk to her about right now! 
last night? The fact that she wasn't at breakfast? Hina? Tell her! Okay, let me let me see if I can talk to Hina then. Where's her room at? This is Hina's room. I don't. Oh my gosh. What more is there to talk about besides this pressing information? Hina's in the music room. I'm gonna go talk to her right now. That meal was nuts. High energies. High emotions. You know, let's let's kick it, bro. Let's kick it for a minute. Um Mikado! Did you want something? Hmm, should I talk? Yeah, uh, absolutely. About that. Were you worried about me? Sorry. That's nice of you. Damn. Hina was quiet and depressed, but I did what I could for her. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hina a present? Um, not yet. I don't think I have any. That's so trash. Have a conversation after. <clears throat> okay. Yes. Bring the map back up. Let's go to the warehouse. Um, that should be right here. Cause we tried talking to Toko already, but not Kuya. What is he doing in here? You gonna click right immediately behind his 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 head? Push out. Let it get clicking. Thank you. Hmm. Sakura and Hina. <laughs> Finally, some action. <laughs> These are starting to become interesting. What do you want? Huh? Oh, I didn't see you standing there. Do you need something? Yeah, absolutely. Talk to him. That's fine. Fine. I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. Spend some time with Kuya. Kuya and I get... Oh, uh, really? That seems incredibly impossible. No, I don't have a present for him. Have a conversation, though. Is it still daytime? Oh, shit. Nighttime. Good. <laughs> I don't know what you about to say. Hmm. <clears throat> As such, soon. Okay. okay. So that's just regular nighttime announcement. Nighttime already. Tonight feels somehow uneasy. We still have this little things with Sakura, and everyone's in a terrible mood. I just hope nothing happens tonight. You know it will. I just wish I could hear it. it should. After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting I should become a crab instead. How much can one person love crustaceans? I said no, of course, and she shot back. Okay, then how about you make you shot your special? You could be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. But how is that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards. I want to go forward. I heard how to know it. I heard her annoyed sigh on the other end of the line. Then she said, You just don't see the splendor of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tale of the crab and the monkey? Of course I've heard it. I know all about it, but so what? The crab beats the monkey, but it's just some legend, hardly relevant to our greed-obsessed modern society. I can't do this voice. Monkey-themed clothes are sweeping the fashion world, but the crab doesn't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying is crabs have no place in today's light speed world. Do your mark do your mark your research, lady. Which is why I chose the always popular bear. And that's the secret origin. Alright, whatever. Is it morning or still nighttime, bruh? It's gotta be morning now. Good morning, everyone! Yeah, alright. I need to do something about Sakura. I better go to the dining hall and talk to you guys about it one more time. Yes, leave the area. Huh? Was that someone screaming? I think it came from the dining hall. Oh shit, right now? Like this? Oh my gosh, y'all. What's going down in here? Mikado! Oh my, Mikado! We got a big problem, man. What's what's wrong? Look. Uh, Hero's finger shook as he pointed. Hina. Uh, 
I knew it. I knew it. Uh, are you okay? What happened? Look at her. What do you think happened, Mikado? Look at look at the girl standing up over her. She she killed her. What? Genocide Jill killed Hina. What? You gotta be kidding. No 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 no. She's not dead. Open your eyes. No way she's dead. W w why? What happened? Uh -huh. Well, Sogo and Hina just all of a sudden they were yelling, and then they they knocked the pepper off the table. And, and that led to a sneeze? You SOB! Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real. <laughs> and look at her shapely <laughs> collarbone. Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? Mm, totally not adorable. Anyway, you totally not adorable boys. Just get here. Uh, just get her out of my sight, okay? Or else. My beautiful scissors! I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and indulging myself for who knows how long. Uh, okay, then let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Come on, Hero, help me. Uh, um, uh, sh sure thing. <laughs> Stop. Stop that. Genocide Jack's abrasive laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. Hina, damn, girl. She sliced you up for your titties? By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Sorry. Th thank, thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it really was just a scratch. <laughs> but still, I was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know. <laughs> yes, well, a thousand thank yous to you, sir. <laughs> So sarcastic. That just makes you sound even more hostile. Hina, talk to me. What happened in there? Hey, Hina, what the heck happened? Oh, um, we just got into a fight. What do you mean by that? Let me guess. The fight was because of Sakura? But... At first, I tried to just ignore it. If you let jerk buttholes get, you, get to you all the time, you'll never have time to let yourself... You'll never have time left to live your life. That's facts, though. But she wouldn't let it go. So I just... What the heck? Without thinking about it, I just... I felt like I just wanted to punch her like a thousand times. Serious? A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. And when things got out of hand, Genocide Jack got let loose, right? Sorry. It's my own fault, but I just... Couldn't take it anymore. Because... Because... Because she was <laughs> saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know? <laughs> Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started well, started welling up to, with tears. Fuck, I can't talk. And just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse's office burst open. I thought the doors was going to fly off the hinges. And there she stood before us. Hina. Hina. Huh? Sakura. Ugh. You're hurt. What happened? Huh? Oh, n nothing. It's not a big deal. Hey. Mikado, hero. What's the meaning of this? <laughs> it, it wasn't me. It was Genocide Jill. It's, it's all that demented murderous fiend's fault. Ugh. Okay, she she going 9,000. Power levels reaching 9,000. To hurt Hina. Damn you. To leave me alone but hurt her. What is this? How dare you? What is this? <laughs> who, who typed these subtitles, bruh? <laughs> I'm okay, really, it's just a scratch. Oh, no forgiveness! I can't forgive this! Oh. He's going like negative 9,000. Oh. Hero, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. What? what? I, I, I don't hate you, exactly. I can't forgive this. Bye! Uh -huh. He learned he needed doo doo so bad. Like, go to the bathroom then. Uh -huh. <clears throat> he went to the bathroom. Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. But just a second later, what's going on? Hey. <clears throat> oh, shit. What's all this noise about? Kyoko stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, taking Hero's spot in the room. It would seem. I gather that something's happened. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. I just... Ugh. I'm drawing a line right here and now. 
Drawing a line? Goodbye. Goodbye. Wait, Sakura! Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. The only ones left were... Oh, damn, yeah, bro. We gotta squash this beef, girl. We gotta squash this right now. Um, Kyoko. Stop giving me the silent treatment. Are you still... Are you still mad? Yeah, I figured. That's fine. It's fine. Huh? Whew. About that issue we discussed earlier, it doesn't matter anymore. What are you talking about? Then, do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? In other words... You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yes. <laughs> to think like that. I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. Ooh. What? Because... Ultimately, that means you don't trust me. N no, that's not it. But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. That's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Besides... And I... I may have overreacted. Okay. A woman who can admit her faults. That's rare. That's, that's just, it's just, it's just big rare. Huh? Anyway. And she, she don't even really want to do it. She, she a real one. Anyway, it's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Uh, okay, thank you. Is that it? Whew. I want to talk to you about something else. What you talking? What is it you wanted to talk to me about? Indeed. Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I, I guess, but... Shall we go? Well then, shall we keep going? With her typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. Ah, Kyoko! I hurried to catch up with her. Kyoko always take me to somewhere where I be getting bodied at. She walked ahead in silence. And in silence, I chased her. And eventually we arrived. Is it alter? It's not all. It may be. Maybe it's alter ego again. The dressing room? So there's something else you mentioned. Indeed. That's right. It has to do with alter ego. But you said we didn't need alter ego anymore. Wrong. I didn't say we didn't need him. I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not that he. It's not us that needs alter ego. He has business with us. Huh? Right. Alter ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently he has something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something? Alter Ego, what are you talking about? Um... Hello? Oh, um, is it just the two of you? Kyoko and Mikado? Kyoko's fingers glided across the keyboard. Is two not enough? Thank you. No, it's okay. Two should be plenty. But what is it he wants to ask us? Indeed. Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko typed in the question. What did you want to ask us? So, um, oh yeah, so I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. What? What? Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied, "Why?" Okay. Well, um, you said my job was done, right? But to just stop here saying I finished my work, but I don't want that. I want to be able to help. I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can all get out of here. That's right. That's what master would want to so to help everyone else to solve the mystery of the school That's right. the only way i can help is if you connect me to this school's network but but if you did that that's basically suicide i'm positive the mastermind will find out about it they'd find you and they you agree right kyoko so i realize how dangerous it could be but still i have to do this but... i'm scared but i can handle it I don't really understand why, but, but still. when I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhumane AI, but it's true, so it's okay. I'm if it's for the sake of that. everyone else, I won't be afraid. I couldn't help but get lost in that voice. It was just too committed, too a admirable, too fragile. Hey. You remember what you asked before, Mikado? You asked what the difference is between a person and a program, right? Yeah. Certainly. When I talk to Alter, Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. I think maybe that's a question even the program's creator can't answer. But I can say this. Correct. There's no question that Alter Ego is our friend. Kyoko, 
I... To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push himself anymore. Ain't nothing worse than cold, black, warm black coffee. Because if we take any more risks, the mastermind really will notice it. But... Makoto. Let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect Alter Ego to the network. But... Hey. He's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration. And he says that he wants to fight alongside his friends. No. If you were if... in this place, could you just sit by and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, could you just look the other way? Some niggas is like that. Some niggas is really like that. They don't want to get in the mix. No matter what's going on, like, like, he like Hero, right? Or would you stand up? Stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them that you're their friend. So, um... Hey, are you guys fighting? If it's about me, please don't. I want to believe in myself. Damn. I want to be able to say, I know I can do this. Leave it to me. Listen. And besides, there's one place where the mastermind might not notice. One place? That's right. Remember? There's another place besides here where there's no surveillance camera. A room without a surveillance camera. That's it. The secret room you told me about. Definitely remember there was no surveillance cameras in there. Indeed. And I do believe you can connect to the network from there. I remember seeing an Ethernet port on the on the wall. However. However, just because there's no camera there doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure the mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. We'll also have to move Alter Ego, and the mastermind may spot us going into the secret room. If they pick up on any of this, then it's all over. You're right. That's what we have to do. But despite all that, I still think we need to try. Correct. Because that's our best chance of finding any new clues. Kyoko, in that case, would you let me carry him? There's no way you could hide with, with him. There's no way you could hide him with what you're wearing, right? So let me do it. It's true. Okay, then. I'll leave it to you. Thank you. So then... then let's get started. It's going to be a little cramped for you, Alter Ego. Bear with us, okay? We started packing him up right away. I closed the laptop and stuffed it underneath my jacket. Double uploads today and double uploads for the rest of this week. I love y'all so much. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up on it. I truly appreciate it. When we get back, we're going to probably see who gets killed next. We're going to see what happens in that secret room with Alter Ego. Learn some new information. Kyoko and I have squashed the beef. But Sakura... We'll see what happens next, man. If you are new, please subscribe for more videos. And as always, love each and every one of you. Yeah, you. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, y'all.